Now let's go ahead and put the reports together and create our dashboard. We pretty much have our dashboard here, but so what we really need to do is format it, make it look a little nicer and stuff. So let's go ahead and take out our grid lines first of all. I really don't like the grid lines on the reports. And um, we could come in here and potentially um, remember if we wanted to change our pivot table um, look and feel. That looks pretty good. Let's do that one. That one. Those are nice. Alright, so now let's add some hyperlinks to our graph so we can drill into our detail. So we're going to call this gross profit and right click it choose hyperlink and this is going to, going to be um, in the current document and we're going to choose gross profit it's going to center this guy And we're going to hyperlink this back to the dashboard. Alright, so that way we want to see the detail. We go into our detail data here. So we could, for instance, let's go into our detail on our gross profit. And now we can expand um, our data here. And then return back to the dashboard, maybe on Asia back to our dashboard here. So, so that's kind of nice. And then let's call this um, okay. Let's do the same over here, and this is our gross margin. And remember, once again, we can come in here in our design, and depending upon how we want to uh, look at our um, graph here, we could we can really change the look and feel. And um, but what we're going to do here is just add another hyperlink. hyperlink and then we're doing we're going to associate that with the gross margin and then now we can drill into our gross margin here and let's put a return so now we have a return and so we probably also want to add some um, Title information here at the top. I'm going to call this our dashboard. even um, format this really like the new colors in office uh, 
let's do a kind of a dark blue. That looks pretty good. And then um, let's go ahead and just change our font also to be a white. Cool. Make that bold. All right, so now we kind of have a dashboard here, and so you get the 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 uh, idea. Um, basically, you could essentially really build this out however you wanted, where you could have several different reports on here. Um, a lot of times, what I'll do is I'll put about five different graphs on this initial dashboard page, and then from those graphs. Um, I'll summarize everything and then I'll have reports that you can drill into and then um, filter and analyze the data and analyze the detailed data.